Hey, welcome back here, everybody. And now we're ready to go ahead here and start shaping our neck and adding um, some more detail onto our neck here. So um, we're just simply going to do this uh, again with our move topological brush. Um, and we're going to play with our shape here and try and come up with something that's um, going to add a little bit more uh, attitude and flavor here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and grab our move topological brush, making sure that we have our uh, mirrored symmetry on. And let's go in here and start playing with our shape a little bit here. So maybe we should pull this out. Maybe push some of this in. Can always go ahead and smooth out if we need to. Okay. And can always go ahead and grab our uh, inflate brush here and that's going to be way too much maybe we'll inflate this a little bit here smooth that back we can always take our Damien standard brush here just start cutting in um, where we're going to want some detail uh, on our neck. We can always, if we wanted to, um, draw out a mask to uh, maybe extend our neck a little bit more. But if we do that, we have to make sure that we um, also go ahead and replace our eye as well. So just be mindful of that. Um, let's go ahead and just jump back into our draw brush so that we can just simply sculpt on just our neck. Um, and this way we're not going to affect the body at all. Okay, so let's come in here and Just trying to play with our shape a little bit here. And try and refine um, what our character's look is. And that smooth is going to be way too intense. And I'm just trying to cut in, but um, not cut in so much that I'm going to uh, be affecting the underlying geometry here. Just try and refine this shape as best as we can. If you have to, you're probably going to have to move around um, the mesh, and that's fine. Um, it's really not a big deal to get that look that you want. Um, you just basically have to have a little bit of fun here. And it's all about... Um, you know artistic freedom here so don't sort of limit yourself to 
one shape. Um, just go in and have as much fun as you can creating something. I'm really just trying to try and play with the shape here a little bit. Let's see what I can really come up with. go around the model and see how it's all uh, playing together. Just trying to play with the shape here to refine it a little bit. Um, I don't want that neck area to be so thin to look like it's going to break. It still has to have at least um, some stability in it here. I'm also not trying to make everything um, so sharp edged. Try to add a, uh, a skinnish type wrinkly method to this. And to do that, you can always use, you know, um, your standard brush or inflate brush and whatever else that you want to go ahead and throw on here. And it's really just, you know, play with the shape, go ahead and run through and uh, see what works best for you. Because what works for me may not necessarily uh, 
uh, work for you guys. I'll probably even jump up a subdivision level there. And you can see that I actually had to clear that mask on the body. So you can see where uh, we don't have that mask anymore. So I'm just going to be careful that I actually don't uh, sculpt on the body. can see now where um, our shape is coming along uh, fairly well. I think that's going to be way too large. Well, we should go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. And you, and you can always um, add these little moles a little uh, a different way simply by just taking a drag rack track, um, stroke and just using uh, any way any one of these sort of circular alphas uh, just would have to make sure that your intensity is fairly large and use your standard brush and you can go ahead here and actually select the alpha that you want just turn the intensity up and then you can see where that'll come in, but that's going to come in uh, fairly intense. So um, a little bit lower intensity and then just simply smooth it back. Um, I tend to like to use the uh, move brush method where I'll just select part of the mesh and we'll just turn that alpha off and just invert there. Um, as I need and I can actually shrink that down a little bit pull it out and then I'll smooth it back a little bit Or you can always just take the standard brush, um, just turn your intensity down. And just make sure that you turn your alpha off, use your freehand stroke, uh, and turn that intensity down even more. And then just simply uh, use a circular method to go ahead and add onto the mesh. So you can really control um, how much of a mole or how much of a shape you want to come out so you can see where there's you know a multitude of different ways that you can do a lot of different things here okay so that might be enough um, moles for the neck here Let's go ahead and just start refining that shape a little bit more. And as you um, up the geometry resolution, just make sure that you're uh, mindful of making sure that you use a, a more intense smooth brush. I think we're probably going to have to fatten out the back of the neck here maybe maybe just a little bit
we can go ahead and pull down this eyelet a little more. Try and work on the shape for this. Okay, we'll jump up, back up a subdivision level there. with the shape here a little bit. Refine our eyelid shape. Okay, so that's looking good here. Go ahead and take a look at the overall mesh. Okay, so I think our mesh here is um, looking good. Uh, and let's just go in here and try and cut in a little more detail here. Okay, so I think our uh, model here is actually looking fairly good. And it's really starting to come along. Okay, so uh, in the next lesson, we will go ahead here and come back and uh, maybe look at finishing up our model here and then we'll go from there so um, come on back everybody and we'll go ahead and finish up our model